Donald Trump is the 13th US president to come here to address the UN. And with the North Korea crisis deteriorating, he knew the world would be hanging on his every word. Now the, the message is really a message of peace. It's a message of coming together. But once he headed to the General Assembly chamber, His Excellency Donald Trump, he had a very different message, delivering a speech that astonished many diplomats by including an unprecedented threat to annihilate another UN member state. The United States has great strength and patience. But if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. The words were just the sort of language that earlier the UN Secretary General had warned against. Fiery talk can lead to fatal misunderstandings. The solution must be political, and this is a time for statesmanship. We must not sleepwalk our way into war. President Trump's foreign policy challenges are growing. His critics say it's only of his own making. He doesn't now just face possible confrontation with one nuclear power, North Korea, but with a second one, Iran too, as he continues to suggest he's likely to pull out of the 2015 nuclear deal. The Iran deal was one of the worst and most one-sided transactions the United States has ever entered into. Frankly, that deal is an embarrassment to the United States, and I don't think you've heard the last of it, believe me. That received strong support from Israel's Prime Minister, but only tepid applause from those in the General Assembly. So I've listened to countless speeches in this hall, but I can say this, none were bolder, none were more courageous and forthright than the one delivered by President Trump today. The UN is normally a place of nuance and compromise, but President Trump sees things in starkly black and white terms. Even some of the countries that are normally friendly to the US are alarmed. One Western foreign minister told me that President Trump's comments on North Korea were unhelpful. And a senior Security Council diplomat said to me, why does he want to provoke two simultaneous nuclear crises? James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.